Hey everybody, it's Joel with Hobart Welders. I'm down here at the farm with my son this morning. Hi, I'm Colton. This is my grandpa's old dairy barn and I'm looking to raise some beef in it now. So I need to make some new pens for them because they're getting a lot bigger. And my dad here is going to help me with that. Yeah, as Colton mentioned, uh, what we want to do is make some more feed panels. As you can see here to my right, when these cows get bigger, they're going to need a wider spacing where they're sticking their heads through to reach their feed. So two reasons we're building them though versus buying them is one, we currently can't find any available to buy. Number two is on the bottom of a typical feed panel, there's a solid portion that stops the feed from coming into the pen and getting ruined by the cows. And as you can see from the old dairy farm here, there's a concrete barrier that was used for that same reason when the stanchions were in. So we're just gonna reuse that portion of it and build the upper half with the angles. So the first thing we need to do, we want these panels to be the same height as the current panels that we built for this pen. And we just need to get that height measurement and a length and then we'll head down to the shop and we'll get started. All right, so we're up 42 and a half inches, Colton. So we got started on cutting the material for the feed panel. One of the issues that we came into was we were one piece short of this one inch round tubing that we're using. So I had a couple of scraps left over from the other sticks and we're gonna weld two together to make that last piece and cut it to length. One of the tricks that I use to keep it straight when you're welding them together end to end is I'll take a piece of angle iron, flip it upside down, tack weld it to my table, lay these two pieces in, butt them together, clamp it to hold it in place and get some tack welds on there. When I'm done with that, I'll take it out and I'll finish welding all the way around. One of the things that I do do too um, on here is I, I put a chamfer on each end and that'll help get better penetration down in there for a stronger weld. So we're gonna get going, lay this out and get it welded up. Always read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. Okay, so we finished welding this tubing. Um, I'm gonna take it to the saw, cut it to length, and while I'm doing that, Colton's gonna take the rest of the framing material, um, assemble it, and square it up. So I got the frame all squared up and welded, and now I'm putting in these vertical bars. Here I've got my square set at 14 inches so I can keep my spacing in between the bars the same. Now that Colton finished fabricating the feed panel, which I think turned out great and it's gonna work really well, our next step is going to be to bring it down to the barn and get it installed. For more projects like this, continue watching our YouTube channel and hit subscribe.